Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ray, thank you for joining me. Guys, this is part two of my build from my Super Duty truck. As you can see in front, I got a big ass box here, right? All right, as you guys know, I'm updating my lights to my Super Duty Trema 2020. I have the XLT model. And with those models, as you know, we have halogen lights. Don't know why they keep on throwing those damn lights into trucks or cars, all right? Everything's LED. Come on forward, get with the program, flip the switch, go straight LED. But until then, we have to update our trucks with aftermarket price. I mean, price, parts. And you know what? I really don't mind that because I enjoy doing that. All right. If you don't know about this channel, guys, this is about how to DIY backyard stuff, front yard stuff, whatever I'm doing. I'm sharing that information. In this case, updating my truck. All right. Check out the playlist below, guys. Everything I've done to my truck, there's a playlist. Also, a detailed part list of all the accessories I put on my truck. All right. Again, it's all about customization doing it the way I want to do it. So enough of me talking guys, as you can see, big old box from Motomoto, got the headlights. This is the, well, the Motomoto XB LED headlights for your 2020 and up Super Duties. This is, if you have halogen lights in your Super Duties, you gotta look at this, all right? I've been researching it for quite a while Initially, I was going to do the whole bulb, just switch the bulbs out, but I know that's it will work if that's what you're looking for and you want to reduce your course. There are accessories or light LED bulbs that you could put in there with the ballast to help you get that LED look. But I, I kind of like Moto Moto. I really like how they designed it, the features of it, so I decided to go with it. Took advantage of the Black Friday this past year. All right, so this has been sitting in my house for over two months two or three months since uh thanksgiving now the weather is finally getting better that i can get out and install these things so what we're gonna do we're gonna do an open boxing we're gonna look at it i'm gonna show you exactly how it comes in and then after that as you know i'm gonna take you out to the truck give you a detailed play-by-play -play how to install these all right so please consider like subscribe check out the part list they are affiliate, does support this channel, and I greatly appreciate it. And that's pretty much it. So let me just shut my mouth and let's get into it. Let's go. Okay guys, as you can see, I'm in my, my den area now. This box is so big and I really don't have the room down in my man cave to display it. So I brought it up here to unbox it. So what we're going to do, guys, we're just simply going to open it up. This is how it comes in a big old box. So let's cut this open and see how it looks. Again, this has been sitting in my basement since November. It's been a very busy year. Toward the end of the year, I end up getting COVID and the whole family pretty much into the new year. So from December all the way to the end of January, the family been out of commission. So we're back, we're into, into it now, and we're just gonna keep this moving, all right? As you can see, it's a box within a box. All right, so let's, uh, let's see if I can lift this up. Whoa, man. Oh, the moto. Some big old lights, all right. So it's two boxes and one big box so here as you can see i don't know if you guys can see this it has an x on the r so i believe that's the right headlight so let's just push that over and yes jesus christ <laughs> excuse me guys Okay, and this is the left one. So that's it. That's step one, getting it out of the box. Well, right, guys, let me just go over here, put this out of the way. Okay. So, yeah, left. 
right. Okay. Here we go. Left and right. Excellent. So that'll be easy. So let's start. This one. Let's start with the left one. Put that over there. I'm excited to have these lights. Something I've been watch, looking at for quite a while. Pretty much ever since I picked up my truck. Because to tell you the truth, guys, those halogen lamps and the Super Duty, and the tremors suck. All right, <laughs> they really do. All right, I travel back and forth to Virginia, and um, when I drive my truck, especially the dark roads, it, it does not do it justice. So LEDs is definitely where to go. And as you can see, I like this. They use the seal up um, foam to get. So it, what it does is take the shape of the what the contents. So it prevents it from moving. So I definitely like that. Good packaging. Very nice. All right. And as you can see, show them baby, baby. All right. It's all protected. Nice uh, covering here. So that's very nice. And what we're gonna do, let's just lift it out right now. So I can show you guys, because these are some, definitely some big old lights. And there it is, guys. All right, looks very nice. And this is just eye candy, like I call it, for you guys to see exactly what you're getting. Okay. Turn it around. Okay. Balance is already built in. Everything, again, this is pretty much a plug and play, guys. So everything connects to your existing wire harness. So we got everything set up here. So, guys, you got any questions, any comments about these lights? Hit me off in the comments and I'll try to answer to my best of my ability. You know, let's do this. Let me put it down here. Let me bring the camera a little closer and we'll do some very detailed close-up shots on these, all right? Okay. Again, this is just simply eye candy for you guys. If you're looking for some just detailed shots on how it looks, you're on the fence on picking these up and you just want some nice close-up shots on what you're getting this is what this video is about again along on the how-to and what else we got here right here I guess if you need to do any type of adjustments down up type of, I guess it will be turning here. So, but I won't know until I get it into the trucks, into the truck, if I need to do that. Again, just a close detail shots on how it looks. So again, this is the left side. Something to your attention right here. If you can see the this, they have a little warning sticker right here. And what I'll do, I'll try to take a little screenshot exactly what it says. So, and in regards to this adjustment. So, when you install this, definitely pay attention to that warning sticker they put there. All right? It's about adjusting and how many turns you should turn. They said no more than three times. Um, if you go beyond that, you risk damaging it or something about failing so i'll take a screenshot of it and post it so you guys can see it okay i just wanted to bring that to your attention okay here you go again just nice close-up detail shots of what you're getting so guys if you appreciate this type of content please consider like subscribe and we'll just take it from there guys all right so stay with me we're going to do, we're going to go out to the truck and we're going to get these things installed. So let's go. 
Okay, we're gonna continue on now. Now, as you know, we gotta move this uh, this part here. And again, you, you're gonna need some panel removers, all right? It's always important to have these things, guys. Again, I said in all my videos, you have to pick you up a set. If you haven't, please check out the affiliate links below um, to a couple of sets to help you get started, all right? So, Let's uh let's move some panels here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right. So let's just get it popping. And what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm not gonna bore you. You watch me put, take these tabs out. We'll pick it up once I get all the tabs out. All right. So stand by. Okay, guys. Got down all the tabs up. Now, this one tab here. One thing, make sure you guys have assorted panel removers because not all panel remover shapes are equal. All right, so you're gonna need assorted ones because some of these are dipped in or what have you. So just have our assorted ones. I end up going with this type of style. I found it easier to get the tabs off. All right, so just keep that in mind. All right. So now once you get over here, this just pops out. So just go in here and just pull up and it's going to pop out. All right. It's held in by friction. So once that's out, just take and move it to the side. All right. So I have all my panels holders removed and I'll just do just going to lift, lift it up. All right. Oops. No, I don't. All right. I forgot. We got these back here. All right. Again, I'm working with a 2020 uh, Super Duty Tremor. So I got one, two, three, four, I still have to remove. So let me get these done right now. Okay. Additional four right there I missed. And I should have them all off and they'll come right off guys. All right, so that's it. So let me just put this to the side and we'll go continue with the next step. Next what we have to do is work on getting the grill off. All right, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, and some on the bottom. So let me get the screw gun and get this removed. And just to let you know if I didn't state it, I don't think I did. These screws are 10 millimeter. All right, so, and so you should have like a little stubby 10 millimeter probably with an extension or a short one and a long one because with the long one when you get into the, this area here it's kind of recessed in so you need some type of extension to get to it as opposed to the two screw that's inside the engine well I call it you're gonna need a stubby one it's gonna you don't uh, because it's gonna be too long you can't have a long one I hope that makes sense Guys, I'm telling you, if you're in the Milwaukee system, pick up this two. All right, the ratchet time saver goes real quick. <laughs> All right, that's the two up here. All right, guys, I just got a little case. I'm just throwing all my screws in there so I don't lose them. So I have something like that also on hand. And I also recommend getting some type of stepping stool like this for this big old truck. It just makes it much easier to get into the bed. Quick work. Very quick work. All right, just keeping this moving. All 
Okay. And this this one here is the first one I saw with some blue Loctite in it. So keep that in mind. All right, I'm just gonna pop this other end off. Again, I'm gonna go right here. Oops, and that's it. it, pops right off. Done. All right, and that's pretty much it. I think everything's, that's all the screws. Now, my under, to, to my understanding, to take this off, it's just a, a quick snatch. If you have the camera, make sure you don't push too hard because you got wires behind it that I might have to disconnect. All right, so I'm just gonna get behind it. There you go. And give it just a, a, a quick snatch. And you should disengage those pull tabs. There you go. That's it. I'm just going to look in here and reach down and take my, uh, disconnect my, my hoses here. So let me see if I can show that to you guys before I disconnect so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. Right here, as you can see, got a connection here and the connection here. So All right. I'm just trying to figure out how I I think it's a pinch and I have to pull this so let me uh let me figure this out real quick and once I figure it out I'll come back and let you know how how I got to disconnect but I believe it's a push connect and this one here also all right so I need both hands so let me just stop and get and try to get this done all right this here as you can see it's like see how that connection come off so use use two fingers and just pull back on this pull it upward all right, you don't have to take it off because it, you see it's kind of in that track. You just want to pinch it off so it's not wrapped around here. This one here, again, you see that tab right there? You're just gonna push that down and pull out. All right, and that's it. That's simple. So let's, uh, let's start with the passenger side and getting this removed. All right with four nuts all right one two or oh, screws one two three and the other one as i showed you early on is down here already removed all right guys i just want to show you what i'm doing i didn't drop my bumper so i used a special wrench ratchet on taking this nut out now i don't suggest this type of setup or approach if you're not comfortable or you got stubby hands i didn't want to drop my bumper and as you can see i'm showing the wrench i'm using ideal for this application all right so what you have to do is just get behind the wind well behind the bumper reach up your wrench up in there and it'll allow you to unscrew that screw without dropping the whole bumper all right it's a little more time consuming i think or it might be the same it, it all depends how you look at it but I didn't want to mess with my alignment of my bumper. So I decided to just use the wrench and attack it. And it was this was the first thing I did before I even took off the lights is remove that um, screw because I knew that was going to be the more t tedious part of this installation as well as the fuse cover. So just want to let you know um, that's how I approached it. I did it for both sides. I was able to take it out and reinstall it without any problem without dropping a bumper so guys let's go on with the video consider like subscribe and then just keep it moving and after that i believe we'll be able to disconnect this headlight stand by and let me get that going and again we do another just a 10 millimeter Okay. And when you pull it out guys, it's like a, a metal a little rubber flap here. Might be holding you up. But don't, um, don't worry about it. Alright, and that's that. 
all right it's disconnected so what i'm going to do now is simply disconnect the the lights from there okay that's done okay guys all right i just want to bring some, some things to your attention again with the brown one easy you see a little lever right here just press down pull out this one here is a little more difficult i guess to push down you can still push down if you're strong enough got strong finger pressure but i end up getting a little too push down on this little part right here and again pull out so that's the only difficult part this is the side marker lights again same thing over here you see a little push level push down pull out okay so that's done this is removed and again there's another screw remember between the bumper you have to remove I end up removing it without dropping my bump that's the first thing I did so now this is off so let's take off the right one and then we're gonna hook up the wiring from here and fish it from the fuse box to over here to over here before I put anything on so let me get that set up and going again on the driver's side guys again 10 millimeter again with this just gonna pop it off take your time I'll come out best bet try to push down on it a little bit bring it this way then lift up and again you got a little this little rubber piece might be holding you up a little bit but you can again probably holding you up right here right it doesn't matter just pull it off I'm gonna do I'm just gonna again just go in here and disconnect again I'm gonna use my little fill up here just to press give me some leverage on this connector there you go okay driver side out okay guys I just want to give you a detailed shots on how the front end looks without headlights and the grill all right just want to give you guys some a quick look at it sometimes this is a pass through I don't know if it's important for you guys to see it but I guess I want to be different I just want to show you something a different look at it so this is how everything looks without your grill on so if you're trying to compare anything uh, at least you got this information for you guys again it's just visual information for you guys for your project all right again here's the horn here's the camera harness and this is for the windshield wiper uh fluid i believe thinking about changing the horn guys if you got a, a good recommendation other than the train horn not interested but another horn to replace this hit down and below in the comments i'm looking to switch this out for a better better sounding horn but i don't want to go over the top too much so something reasonable not into the train horn thing but i do want to change those so you got any suggestions please let me know again this is everything in here this is the whole harness so what we're gonna do now guys is we're gonna have to run our wire for the sequence lights on these so i have to get this done so before i start to install any of my lights i'm gonna run this wire now and there's a few spots on that end so stand by let me set up my camera show you how i'm approaching it all right Please consider the like, subscribe, and we're just gonna keep it moving. Okay, guys, I'm trying to try to show you. All right, I'm next to the battery, and we're gonna have to get to this little fuse box right here. All right. So, and as you can see, the signs up there um, to unlock it is telling you to push toward the passenger side to unlock it. So it's kind of tight in here. So what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna get this removed. All right, and we'll pick it up after I get the box removed. But I'm show you. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you. I got it taken out. Now, again, to take this out, 
it's, it's in this location like that when you're in there you're gonna have to turn it this away and then come up to get it out all right you need two hands to do it so but it will come out it's just a little play all right push some wires and stuff out of the way but again it's in sitting in like this turn it this way tilt it upward and take it out all right so now we got our food fuses exposed we're gonna keep it moving and we're gonna install our power cable and i'm gonna indicate by a green arrow right about there where you're supposed to put it all right it's a 10 amp fuse all right so that's where you're gonna plug it in and that's in relation to if you're looking back of your your case here as you can see these numbers it says fuse 16 right there that's in relation where you're gonna plug it in so the information is right there 16 and that's where i'm gonna be plugging mines in right now so okay all right guys i got it in all right so it's right there it's plugging like that so the idea now is to run these wires and what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go that direction Let's see if i can show you guys i'm gonna go that direction towards the latch and then i'm gonna swing it around and attach it to some existing wires i come up this way come up this way all right to get it all attached so let me get that going. Once I get it installed and zip tied, I'll come back and show you how, which, which uh, avenue I took. Okay, guys, let me uh, explain what I'm doing. This case for your fuse panel, where you have to run your wire, again, as I stated before, it is not gonna get locked in um, with that wire just running through here. All right, it's not gonna lock in. So if you want it to lock in, you're gonna have to notch it. Now, initially I was gonna attempt to try to notch it here, but it's just too tight. I don't want to mess with this. So I found it probably easier. I'm going to notch it right here in the next to the corner. The reason why when the wire comes out, it's easy to see it and control it to keep it next to this edge here. So you know where the wire is coming out. You can control that wire and then you can lock it down in place coming out of here. So I hope that makes sense on what I'm trying to explain to you guys. All right. And I hope you can see this. All right. So again, the idea, I'm going to take my little roll with a sanding. I'm going to just notch it right here. So when I, when it goes in, the wire will come out this end here and come around. All right. So make sure you leave plenty of slack so you can ma manipulate the wire the way you want it to go. All right. And actually, you could put it anywhere. You could come out this way. You could come down this way. It doesn't matter. I think it just makes sense because the wire is going this direction to keep it going in that direction. All right. And that's it. So let me uh, get this notched out. I'm not going to take too much out. And after I notch it out, probably if you don't want to worry about moisture, probably put some um, electrical grease in this area. All right. And will give you a nice seal. All right. Cool. Again, you don't want it be permanent because you need to take this out if you're doing some type of it's if you have to get some maintenance done. All right. But a little electrical grease where this opening is should be fine. So let me keep this moving and get it done. And I hope you can see that. All right, I didn't go too much. I'm gonna go little by little because I don't need to take a lot off, but just enough for that wire to come through so you can have it get your case down. So I hope that makes sense to you. And let me uh, see, did I take enough in getting this down? And as you can see from the bottom here, how this is notched out, allowing that wire to sit and also get this case down. So that's something you don't see in other videos little tips that you need to get done to get this thing installed properly. So let me keep it moving. I got my wire coming out. I got a fish with the existing wires. I'm zip tying it and I'm just dropping it down here. Okay, let me show you guys. All right, the short end, I'll, I'll stop here to connect to the lights. All right, All right. 
and then I'm going to I'm continuing on to with this cable here this cable here goes along your support beam here all right to access it you're gonna have to go underneath the truck and let me see if I can show you guys all right up there you can see it's going behind here you'll feel it and it's gonna come up here all right and you're just gonna follow it that direction towards your lights so I got it zip tied underneath here, nice and cozy. As you can see right here, all right? I got another point zip tied. So that's how I'm running it. All right, so that's here. And it's gonna come out on this end here. Have another zip tie right here. And I'm just gonna drop it right here. All right, ready for my lights to come in. And that's it guys so the wiring is done so let me go get the passenger side light and let's just get that installed okay guys got the right side here so what i'm doing now i'm just gonna connect everything and then i'm gonna turn on the car before i install it to see does it work so just reverse again that cable that you ran here is a little connector You'll see it, all right? Just gotta make sure it goes in the correct way. All right, guys, I just wanna make, bring it to your attention. When you hook up your wires, all right, because I made a mistake. You can see this is a gray one and a black one of the same one. Use the black one, all right? It goes right here. All right, this one here, I'm just gonna throw some tape over it so no moisture get into it, and this is gonna stay in there, all right? So that's it guys. I just want to make sure I did that right. Stand by, let me get some electrical tape, tape that up, and then we're gonna button this up. And there it goes guys. All right. Let's see if I can bring it around a little bit and let your guys see it. And tell you the truth guys, other than me recording, this goes in pretty fast, all right? It's taken me a while to get it done because I'm stopping and recording the information for you guys. All right, so if I wasn't recording, I would have been done at least an hour ago. I'm doing this all for you guys so y'all know exactly what it takes to get this done. And it's going in pretty, pretty simple. So now I'm just going to put these screws back in and get the driver's side done. So I can bring this around for you guys. I hope y'all can see that. All right, because I'm using daylight and I want to try to get this done, get this buttoned up. All right, let's disconnect it here. Let's get you in. That goes in like that. All right, we're going to use, again, the black one, not the gray one. So, this goes here. the black the black one's down here there it is I'm gonna push that in get a click that's in there then you're gonna have a spare gray one that's gonna be taped off so I'm gonna just leave that to the side I'll do that when I grab it from the other side all right so now we're just gonna push this in That's in, that's in, that's, that's in. We'll get the screws and screw that in. Put that back in there. Okay, that's in. Just watching all my little holes, making sure everything's lined up. So when I screw it back in, everything back in, it goes right in. Okay. So let's go back this direction over here and let's take a look at this. All right. Just got to call my son one more time to start 
turn it on for myself or turn it on for me so I can see how it looks. So stand by. All right, guys, I don't know if you can see this. All right. There you go. All right, other, other side. Excellent. Push back for the high beams. Cool. All right, excellent. All right, it's installed, looks nice, looks good. Thousand percent better looking than the factory. All right, little boy, thanks a lot. All right, guys, as you can see, I got it all installed. Hope you can hear me. Just playing with my remote. As you can see, that's that nice uh, indication. Report, so we'll just do that later. But overall, guys, that's how it looks. A lot a hundred thousand a thousand a thousand time looks better than factory you must agree have the leds in the bottom for moto moto and now i have the tops installed so guys consider like subscribe any question any comments please hit me off below and i'll check you on the next one later